Hey there everyone, it's Thackard and welcome back to another patch analysis video. Today is March 30th, 2022, and I am going to be covering for you the Battle Pass Season 1. Now, Season 0 ended just about a week or so ago, and I personally quite enjoyed it, as did many other people. The question is, will Battle Pass Season 1 be a good value for you? Now, what I'm going to do for y'all is I'm going to go over, once again, the basics of the Battle Pass, and then I will go through each one of the tiers and let you see the level 10 item that you get. That's the big one that everyone's really interested in. After that, I will take you in-game and I will show off all those level 10 items in the actual game world. That way you can take a look at what they look like and how they operate and uh, make an informed opinion on whether or not to buy the Battle Pass for yourself. All right, first off, let's get into the cost of it. The Battle Pass cost is going to be 1,950 gold. This puts it in just under about $9 US. Now, the value real world all depends on how much gold you purchase. The more gold you purchase at any given time, the less it costs in real world money. And if you're one of those people who bought gold during one of the uh, gold sales that you have a couple times a year, you might even get a better value than that. But if you're buying right now, it comes in about $9 US. You will once again be able to rush through the tiers. So just complete a tier by clicking a button and that will cost you 950 gold. Now do remember that that will decrease in gold the further you are on in that tier. So if you've have if you're halfway through the tier, the price is going to be cheaper. <clears throat> there are going to be 12 tiers once again with 10 levels per each tier. Each level is going to be 2000 XP to get, which means each tier will be 20,000 XP. Overall, you're going to receive 120,000 credits, 120,000 war funds, you will get 12 days worth of veterans membership. You will get seven rank XP boosters and you will get 65 different combat ribbon boosters. Now, I know everybody will enjoy that stuff, but the stuff you're really looking forward to is what exactly is in the level 10 for each one of those tiers. So let's get into it. All right. All right, first up for level 10 of tier one, we have the Flare Projector Caliber 45, more commonly known as the FP45 Liberator. Now this was a US made pistol to be used by resistance fighters behind the enemy lines. So this is kind of unique. It is a single shot pocket pistol. It has 10 extra rounds. It has no mods whatsoever. It has a rate of fire of 240 RPM, it has a reload time of 5.0 seconds, and a damage of somewhere around 33. Um, when I was testing it in game, it took three shots to take out a non-armored opponent. Now, it also has no equipment cost. So this is a unique little weapon. Now, it's not going to be a weapon that you can take on the front lines and just go to town with because you take a shot, you reload for five seconds, you take another shot, it takes forever to kill anything. What I have used it on and what I think it's pretty good for is say if you are using a infantry sniper, I have a guy who has a car 98 and it's a iron sighted car 98 set up for close combat battles. Now, one of the issues you have going up against say gold level uh, armored targets is you shoot them and you don't quite do enough damage. This thing is actually quite nice for that. And also for recons themselves to have a little backup just in case they need it. That being said, since it has no equipment costs, it can go into any little loadout that you have and just be there for a little 33 damage burst that you can hit. Now it will kill anybody with a single headshot, but like I said, Three shots to the body. And so you, you, you got to be very accurate. Otherwise, it's just a death sentence for you. All right, up next for level 10 of tier two, we have something simple yet kind of different. And that is 
a camo for your bullet. This is an orange tracer camo that you can equip that will give your bullets every once in a while an orange tracer. It's not every single one, so it's not obnoxious, but every couple of bullets you will get an orange tracer. Now, when you get this, you will be granted three of these to spread out over your soldiers however you please, and you will have to go to the weapon and then to the camos, and it will be in that listing under your camos once you move it over to the troop that you would like to, to have it on. All right, up next for tier three, level 10, we have camouflages for the advanced fighters. Now, if you were one of the people that were able to get the red camos for your fighters, awesome. But if not, you now got yourself some options. The German's Focke-Wolf 190 gets the Sky Splitter Tarn Muster. The uh, US P-51 gets the Blue Ace. And the Soviet LA-7 gets a Kozadub Ace Camo. Now, I have to say, I really quite like these. The Fock Wolf one kind of looks like the hat that they sold on the, uh, the store for the winter sale. The Blue Ace, I think, looks really cool as almost like a racing uh, skin. And the Kozadub Ace is simple, yet I think is the best overall skin, maybe out of the bunch of them. And it's definitely the best for the LA-7 overall, in my opinion. Yours might differ, but I quite like them. So I hope you guys will as well. All right, up next for Tier 4, Level 10, we have Helmet Camos. Now, these aren't part of any camo set to match with, like, your, your clothing, but I like them nonetheless. The GE get a Helmet Wire Camouflage. The U.S. get a helmet netting camouflage, and the Soviets also get a helmet wire camouflage, but it does look different than the German one, so don't worry. And overall, not too shabby. All right, level 10 for tier 5 brings us brand new semi-automatic rifle camos. You will be able to equip the laminate stock camouflage on the Gewehr 43, the M1 Garand, and the SVT-40. Now, this laminate stock camouflage has a different look on each one of the weapons, and overall, it's not too shabby. I don't know if it's enough to replace some of the other really cool skins like the Gottmann Un skin for the Gewehr 43, but you know what? Not too shabby. Not too shabby. All right, Tier 6 Level 10 gives us new camouflages for Infantry spawn vehicles. So these are the spawn trucks and not the APCs. So the Germans for the Blitz will get the light spring three color. The US for the CCKW will get the light dazzle. And the SU for the Gaz AAA will get the spring three tone camouflage. I have to say that the German one and the Soviet one I like quite a bit. I'm not quite sold on the light dazzle for the U.S. It might be other people's preferred type of thing, but that one doesn't quite do it for me personally. That being said, overall, not too shabby. All right, Tier 7 Level 10 gets us new skins for a couple of different vehicles in the game. The Germans get a new skin for the Kettengrad, that is the Light Spring 3 color. The US M29 Weasel gets the Light Dazzle, and the SU T20 Consumulets gets the Spring 3 Tone Camouflage. Now, I think all of these look really good. I think the new one for the T20 looks personally absolutely amazing. Um, and the Light Dazzle, where I wasn't really on for it for the infantry spawn vehicle, um, for the Weasel, not too shabby. I actually quite like the look of it. So you can take your bathtub into the water with a brand new camo. So it's not too bad. All right, up next for level 10, tier 8, we have brand new medium tank camos. Specifically, Germany for the Panzer IV gets the Ambush Spring 2 color camo. The US for the M4A1 Sherman gets the tan and green camo. And the Soviets for the T-3476 will get the Kutuzov Spring Camouflage. Now, I have to say, I think these are all pretty good. Um, 
I put them on par with pretty much any of the other uh, camouflages out there. Obviously, they have a different feel to them with the colorations, but I think people will quite enjoy these. All right, everybody, for tier 9, level 10, we got one that I think a lot of people have been waiting for. That is the infamous Gimp Mask. Now, these are going for recon only, so they will be the recon face masks from here on out. But for everyone who has ever looked at the Trello page, we know what they are. They're Gimp Masks. Now, these will all match the colorations of different camos that you can buy for those recons. So you can have a head to toe, almost, the back of your head still shows, but more or less a head to toe camouflage for your recons. The Germans will be getting the Sumpf Muster 43. The US get an amazing frog skin camo. And the Soviets get an equally pretty awesome amoeba camo. I have to say, I think the frog skin's the best, in my opinion, then the amoeba, and then the Sumpf Monster 43. Um, but outside of them being Gimp Masks, I think they are pretty damn cool. And they've been a joke for so long, but now they're officially in-game, and I think people are going to enjoy them, and I think you're going to see a lot of people running around with them. So get used to it. You're going to see it all the, all the time. All right, for level 10 of tier 10, we have a return of something rather simple, and that is another plain smoke trail. This one is going to be green. So if you are one of the people that tossed the red one from season zero onto your plane, guess what? You now got another option in your color palette, the green plain smoke tr uh, trail. All right, level 10 of tier 11 brings us new light tank camos specifically for the German Panzer 2L, which gets the Ambush Spring 3 color. The US M24 Chaffee gets the Lusterless Light Olive and Green Camo, and the Soviet T-70 gets the Kutuzov Spring Camouflage. Now, I have to say, I really like the Lusterless Light Olive and Green for the Chaffee. It's Kind of wonderful. I, I think it's my favorite of the new ch of the uh, Chaffee uh, camouflages, but I like all of these. They all look pretty solid. So I hope you guys will enjoy them in game. All right, everybody, we have finally reached the last unlock of season one. So we're at level 10, tier 12, and it is a new infantry camouflage. So you might be going, Thacker, we have a lot of those. What's the deal? Well, this one is slightly different. It is an infantry leather camouflage. So your Germans will now be stylish looking in their brand new black leather jackets. Your US can go around fashionable in their brown leather jerkin vests. And the Soviets can get a little classy with their brown leather jackets as well. I have to say, the idea didn't sound too well to me when I first saw it. But after checking them out, I can't wait to get mine over on live. All right, everybody, we've gone through the entire list of all the big stuff you're getting, but these little images that I've shown you don't do anything justice. So I'm going to be sending you all in game to take a look at the brand new items. That way you can check them out and make a decision for yourself, whether or not they are something worth your money.
All right, everyone. So that was a look at the brand new items in game. Now, personally, I quite like this new battle pass. Uh, I quite enjoy the camouflages for the tanks as well as the plane. And I am su surprised that I am enjoying the brand new leather camouflages for the infantry. I didn't think I would, but I actually quite am enjoying them in game. Whether or not you guys enjoy them or whether or not this is worth the 1,950 gold purchase for this, that's all up to you guys. But hopefully now that you've seen all the images in game, you can at least make an informed decision on the matter. That being said, I wanna thank everyone for watching the video. Thank you for your support. And until the next patch analysis video or the next battle pass season, I hope you all have a wonderful time in game. If you enjoyed or disliked this video, I do hope you comment on it and give it a thumbs up or down. If you want to see new videos, please hit the subscribe button and to be notified of new content when it comes out, hit the notification bell. But for now, thanks for watching. Have yourself a great day and don't forget to bring it no matter what you do. And I will see you guys in the next video.